Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is the end of the day. Um, it has been raining, I am sweaty. We have been absolutely everywhere today. But picked up my groceries right at the end of the day. So I'm gonna show you what I got. It's a giant grocery haul, which we all love because we love looking in each other's groceries. Shopping trolleys, basically. We love getting ideas, we love seeing what we can go buy at the shops the next week because I love cooking new things. I love getting new snacks because if you have kids like mine, they get sick of things pretty quickly. But today is about bulk cooking. So I've got pretty much all that and a couple of snacks for the kids because in an upcoming video, you will see, oh, Andy, you will see basically everything that I cook. It's going to be a lot better than the first time I videoed this because I'm a little bit better at it and I understand a bit better now. And I'm not going to try and achieve too much in one day, especially with a nine month old. And because one of my hot plates are not working. So that's an issue, but I do have another pan I can use. So we'll see how I go this time. But this shop is to help with my bulk cooking. So you're gonna see my butcher run, you're gonna see my Woolworths run. And I stopped at an Asian shop to get a couple of things from there. So let's get straight into it. All right, first up, we got two milks because I ran out of milk completely and um, I want to start making iced coffees for hubby in the morning. Cream for one of the meals I'm gonna be making. I got some ice cream for the kitties, champagne ham for some ham sandwiches. Got cheese for all the meals we're making. Got some parmesan there. I have ginger because I am going to be making something that requires a bit of ginger, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I didn't get the stir fry bits from the butcher. My hubby prefers uh, like the Coles or the Woolies versions, so I just got those um, from Coles. Uh, this this is not my Woolworths shop. This is my Coles shop. I didn't go to Woolworths this time. Um, and I also got a leg roast as well because I do prefer the leg roast from there. Now we got our corn and we got our peas and we also got sizzle steak. I got sizzle steaks because my daughter hates sausages so I thought maybe on nights that we have sausages she could just have one of these little sizzle steaks because she's younger. She doesn't need a full thick steak so that'll do her. Then we have a whole bunch of the odd bunch of apples so they're cheaper and yet they still look like a decent apples. That's why you always go the odd bunch. Then we got some silver side because I'm going to be cooking up some of this for one night. This is probably not going to be one of our bulk meals. I just really feel like silver side. So I've got some silver side. I got two giant Asian cabbage, or I think they call these ones Chinese cabbages. That's for one of our chow that we're going to be making. I got some banana, potatoes for probably the shepherd's pie. And I think shepherd's pie is the only one that needs potatoes. Other nights, we're going to be making up homemade chips. So that'll be for that as well. Then just to snack on for the kids, we have, or oh, Abby and Andy anyway, we have strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I'm going to be making a few tuna bakes up for our bulk cooking, along with sweet and sour sausages and sweet and sour chicken, because that's what hubby wants. We have tuna bake here for the tuna bake. I could make all... This, I'm sure, from scratch, but I just don't want to, so I just bought the jar versions this time. I'm also going to be making a uh, mango chicken, so I've got these mango slices in syrup. I'm going to be making like a beef pad thai type thing. So I've got some pad thai noodles, which I've not done before. There's Mrs. Bottle. I'm going to make some ragu, a ragu thing, beef ragu, I think it's called. And they didn't have the ragu type noodles, but they had these on, so I just went for it. Then we've got some Thai red curry for our curry paste. And then I just got a bunch of these shapes for the kids. I don't know why I bought these curry sausages. I think it's because I have bought these packets for so many years. Although now I make my own curry. <laughs> my own curry um, well, marinade sauce, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know why I got these. I might just use them because I've got them now. We'll see what happens. But then I just got a whole bunch of pasta. I do have pasta in my other pantry, but I didn't think I had enough of the one kind of pasta, so I just grabbed these cheap anyway. All I got for Miss Andy this time was one of the formulas, only three of these and one of these, because we still have a fair few there, and she's eating less and less of these now and more of, like, actual foods. So she's definitely weaning off these a bit more now. 
which is great, but these are just for when we're out and about and traveling, if she gets a bit hungry. Then these are gonna be my snacks. So I got four of these, um, but these little pork crackles. I mean, it's, it's got some good amount of protein in there, but it does also have a bit of fat, but it doesn't say carbs or anything like that. So no sugar, no carbs. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna snack on these. That's my new favorite snack. I got Pepsi for the hubby because he drinks it like water. If you've seen all the other ones, you would know that. And then for our family movie nights and just to snack on at the moment, we have a whole bunch of microwave popcorn. That is the kids' favorite. I normally, I would like to get the big box from Costco, but I'm just not getting there at the moment. It's just not happening, but I will get there. Sorry for my shadow, but we've also got some onions. I didn't realize I grabbed so many. I do have a couple in the thing, but I grabbed more just in case I needed them for all this bulk cooking I'm going to be doing. Then we have some spinach because I want to start eating this mixed in with whatever I'm eating for lunch or breakfast. Beans for one of our nights that I don't have one of these bulk meals because I do still have that pork to make. I have a chicken roast to make. I've still got steak in the freezer I need to cook up. So I'm going to be doing bulk cooking, but every now and then I will be having like a steak meal where I've got to actually cook the steak and then cook all the veggies. So some of this won't be the, for the bulk cooking on a night that I probably actually feel like cooking, which is probably not going to be too often. Then I've got two bunches of these. I definitely don't need two bunches. It's only for one meal. But if you don't know, I do have a garden and... <laughs> the easiest way to grow this is you just grab some from Woolies, you cut it down to about there, put it in your garden, and it will continuously grow your spring onion for you. So I grabbed two bunches because I want to grow so much spring onion that I can just chuck it in every meal because I love it. And that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I told you, but I got eggs as well. Um, I'm doing really well here. I'm probably talking really fast. <laughs> but I'm trying to get this done so I can get it in the freezer. But... That's the first look. So this is all from Coles, and I will show you next what I picked up from one of the Asian shops. <sighs> I need to take a breath. I will show you what I picked up from the Asian shop next. Okay, so <laughs> from the butcher, I just picked up some bacon and I got eight kilos worth of mince. Hubby was really getting over the fact that all I bought was steak and chicken. He missed his mince meals. So we're gonna be doing shepherd's pie, chow mein, spaghetti bolognese, Possibly one other meal. I just can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm going to be doing spaghetti a different way. I've never done it this way. Hopefully I can learn. Puppy can teach me what he was told. But we will get to that in the one of the upcoming videos. As for the chicken, I got three kilos worth of chicken uh, because of all the bulk cooking we're going to be doing. So this is literally just eight kilos of mince three kilos of chicken, your bacon, and I just grabbed eight bits of the rosemary mint lamb chops because I have to get these every time I go. They're absolutely delicious. So I'm really keen on that. I've also got meat in my freezer. So it's not just this meat here. It'll be other meat and the meat that you saw um, that I got from Coles as well. So there's a lot of bulk cooking going on. I don't know how many meals I'm going to make. I'm hoping I can make at least 30. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, Okay, so I did forget, I actually got, I think I got finger lamingtons, but they must have just substituted with these jam lamingtons, which is fine. I like these as well. Hopefully the kids do, because that was for the kids. Then we got bread, and that's it from Coles. So that was from Coles. Then we went to the Asian shop. We found these at Costco once, and we saw them at the Asian shop, so we went straight in there. We grabbed this packet. There are so many in here. Each packet has a little two-pack in it. And the kids just absolutely love these. Now, I'm hoping, let me smell these. I don't think it is. It looked like it was the basil, because I needed like an Asian basil apparently for this pad thai I'm making. I don't know if it is basil. Now, <laughs> if there is anyone watching this that could tell me what this is, that would be great. I thought it was Asian basil. But I actually don't know because it's not sweet like our sweet basil that I normally buy. But I don't know. If someone could tell me what this is, I just picked up a bunch of this at the Asian store. I should have asked, but I honestly didn't smell it or anything like that. 
and I honestly should have asked, but this is going to go in our pad thai, whatever this ends up being, so hopefully it does taste nice, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I feel so stupid saying that. They had a sign, but the sign was just, it only had a option of everything in this, like, area is $1 or something, $2 per bunch, and I, and, but it didn't actually say what anything was but the shallots, so, oh, well. If you can tell me what that is, please tell me. That would be great. Um, especially before I bolt cook tomorrow. But anyway, I also got these Migaring uh, noodles because me and hubby absolutely love these compared to like the two minute noodles. These are definitely a lot more tastier. We do like the satay ones as well, but I just could not see them. So we got that one. But yeah, that's all I got food wise from the Asian shop. And I, oh, I did actually also get, oh, reach over this way, the Ello drink because I just love these aloe vera drinks. And this one's giant. This one is huge, taller than a loaf of bread. For reference, that is big. But yeah, this is absolutely everything from the stores now that you have seen. So please stay tuned. I really hope you look forward to my bulk cooking video. Hopefully I'll be a lot better at filming it if you ever saw the original one. It was messy and it was definitely one of my first time filming and it was a very chaotic day. But here it is. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.